Hello everyone, I'm Melissa from Swindon Libraries and Information Service and I'm bringing you another one of our craft videos again and it's Lids Week this week. Now it's a really warm day today um, so we do have an extra helper with us. Um, this is Keith, uh, she's a little girl but we had the name before we had the cat so um, Keith is enjoying a nice nap right in the middle of the table but we'll see how things go. So Lids week then. I thought we would start off with making a steady hand game. So with one of your lids, I've got a real selection here, coffee lids, um, Marmite type lids, jam, that kind of thing. I'm just going to use quite a big one so that you can see. The first thing you need to do is to get a circle of card that will fit inside. Okay, so I need to get a slightly smaller circle and I'm going to use the inside of this packaging box because it's a white colour. So, where's my pencil? There it is. it a little bit too hot with her fur coat. Yeah. So because I've drawn around the outside of the lid this is just a little bit too big okay so I just need to trim it and it's better to do this a little bit at a time otherwise you'll end up maybe cutting off too much okay. Oops. a little bit more needed inside nice and snug okay and now if I can I'm just gonna pop it back out again to show you the next bit gosh that is a snug fit do you know what that might happen to you too so I'll do the next bit with the lid inside there Okay, so what we need to do is we need to draw a simple picture um, on the cardboard that's inside the lid. So I'm thinking something like sharp with the mouth open and giving it scary teeth. Perhaps you might want to do that. Sorry Keith, am I colouring too noisily? Uh, 
Okay. Now, tell you what, I'm going to try and use one of my bamboo skewers to just flip this out. There we go. That's better. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to make a steady hand game, a little bit like these examples. So this is Louis, and you can see he's done a fish a little bit like the Nemo fish there. And this is Izzy's lovely butterfly. Okay, so we need a simple picture which we can then put some holes in because I'm going to show you how we can then make this a steady hand game. Okay, so mm, what do I reckon? So I reckon the eye would be about there. Okay, so use your bamboo skewer or something like that if you haven't got exactly that. It's just because it's good for making a sharp, pointy hole that isn't going to hurt your fingers. And then I'm going to put a few more holes in random uh, for one right at the end here. Six. Okay. So you can see then I've got my simple picture and I've put in six or so holes with my bamboo skewer. Okay. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in the bottom of the lid just to fix the cardboard. Now I've pierced it. And as we know, it does stay in there fairly well. Okay. And then these are the um, silver balls that you can buy in any supermarket for cake decorating. They used to be called dragies. I'm um, not quite sure why, but it's the edible silver icing balls. Okay, so I tip some of those out into there. Keith wasn't fooled, she didn't think they were dreamies. Okay, because then what we're going to do is these are going to be used and we're going to try to get them into those holes that we made. Whew, there we go. So I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So I put counting five more. One, two, Now you can just leave the game like this and then if you get a bit stuck you can help the little silver ball into the correct place on your steady hand game. Or you might want to just wrap some cling film over the top and you can see that that's what Corey and Izzy have done and that just keeps the little silver balls in there a bit more securely. Okay, so that's our first idea then for Lids Week and its steady hand games. So another idea I had for Lids Week was to make little lid banjos. And you can see this is just a spread lid there. Um, I've decorated the inside of it. I've popped some rubber bands on a lolly stick that we've been getting through them recently in this warm weather. And then I've taped it together on the back. Okay, so, this is something you could try. You could do it with any of our lids, even down to really, really tiny lids, or um, just check with your grown up. You could even do it with something like a cake tin and stretch the elastic bands across there, which would give you a more realistic size banjo. Okay, so you can see then I've got some different lids. I might, I'm not sure if I want to colour the, the inside of this banjo. Oh, I think I will. just because otherwise it's a little bit plain. Um, and of course you might have some different coloured elastic bands. I've only got the plain colour ones, but some fruit and veg will come with um, elastic bands on it. Things like spring onions uh, tend to have blue elastic bands. Or well, just keep an eye out round where you are to see if you can spot any. Or you could just colour in the band yourself. Orange there, and one. As you can see, Keith is still very hot and very conked out. Okay. 
probably have had a busy night outside. Decorated the inside of my lid. Then, if we pop some bands across it, and you could always use this little banjo with the tin can drum you made a couple of weeks ago, perhaps out in the garden or outside somewhere, so that. Uh, not all the noise trapped inside the house if you've got hot grown-ups and hot pets. There we go. I've got my four bands, a little bit of tape just to secure them. and started the lolly stick handle i've just put some marker pen on it but if you've got any other things to decorate with could be scraps of wool could be um things like um washi tape which is very very um narrow patterned tape that you can get in craft stores and supermarkets sometimes so uh yeah i think whatever really catches your eye. Okay. okay, so then we've got a couple of little lid banjos and that's my second idea for lid week. Now, the final idea I thought we could do, because we've got lids of all sorts of shapes and sizes, you might have some of your milk bottle lids from the very first week, is I thought it would be fun to make some lid monsters. So these are some I've just started to experiment with using milk bottle tops and some googly eyes. Um, but I also thought if you've got any silver foil, that might make quite a nice funky monster. Oops, sorry Keith. Keith's older brother is absolutely terrified of tin foil. But luckily he doesn't seem to be quite so worried. Shine up, shine it down. Okay, so okay. just pops a little bit of glue on the lid just so that the foil doesn't move around too much. Okay, and I'll trim off some of the excess. lid monster. Okay, so I just get my pop of goofy eyes. Okay. So the handy thing about having all these lids is I've got places to pour things. Okay. Let's 
isn't it? So, keep going. Monsters is something that you might want to put on your socks if you're entering our Steve Anthony sock competition. That's open until the 30th of September. So if you haven't already done, so do take a look. There's some really good prizes to be won. And it may be your class that Steve Anthony comes along and does an online or real class visit with. And that would be really, really good. Okay, so I've got lots of eyes on this little monster so far. I think I might need the now. Just, just my pipe cleaners. Any way I want. Okay. So there we go. That's a lid monster with some foil on it. But again, I could use a plastic lid. I could use a coffee jar lid. Have a go. See how you get on. And we'd love to see some pictures sent in to the library outreach email address which is loutreach at swindon.gov.uk. Have a lovely week and hope you enjoy what we've done today. <laughs>